Business operators in Hoima City are calling on government to revise the existing taxes as a measure to help them recover from the impact of COVID-19. Yes, I talked of school fees, yeah. Uh, private schools, really, they hike a lot school fees, and uh, I'm sorry to say this, but, uh, but the, fees, the fees really has affected these families also. If government implements that policy of of putting on some measures to these private schools so that they don't hike a lot their school fees probably. It will help families also to put some developments for the family alongside. So we appeal the government to reduce maybe on the tax, especially the TAT they put on these small supermarkets. Uh, that one should also be removed. Flossi Ayesiga, the agro-input dealer in Hoima, and Gada Kampulira, a grocery shop dealer, say the ever-increasing taxes on trade items have prevented them from realizing their dreams of making it big in business. Yeah, but however, much as the, the price has slightly increased, uh, food is also rare in our communities, meaning we need to cultivate more. And also, much as we are saying that the prices has increased for food, but still when they go to, to purchase or to buy some other, other needs for them, they are also expensive. So, I don't know, I don't know what government will do, uh, but the value of our money has declined a bit. Probably the government needs to do something over that. Yeah, I think the income, I think people had more money and uh, things were high. Uh, like food prices rise, the high. Uh, also, which is food for the common man, uh, was also so high, so nothing was easy. However, Abdul Malik Mugisa, a hotel owner in Hoima City, has thanked the government for exempting them from paying value-added tax, which has enabled them to keep a floating business. Uh, since COVID time, the government exempted us from uh, accommodation VAT. Uh, since then, we are still moving with it. Now we are happy for it and we pray even as an organization to do like that so that we can reach in time whereby we can work and see that we are progressing. So we are happy for that and uh, we are expecting more uh, consideration from the government as we move for progresses to see that uh, we are moving and we are progressing as Unyoro, Koima, uh, Uganda at large.